Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 11, Episode 12. Uh, this is going to be my review of the episode. Um, this is a great episode. Um, you know, if you have seen it, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about it? If you haven't seen it, obviously general spoiler warning, we're going to be talking about the episode. Again, this is episode 12. This was the early premiere on AMC Plus. So if you are not watching these episodes on AMC Plus, um, I just want to give a spoiler warning because I believe uh, AMC is on episode 11. Uh, but this was the early episode. So uh, once you did, once you do get the chance to check it out and you know, definitely come back and let me know what did you think about that episode. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about episode 12. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's just, I guess we'll just jump right into it. Uh, I did give the spoiler warning, but yeah, like I said, um, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm really enjoying this entire, um, season, but especially the second part of the season. And I'm just loving the way these episodes are constructed, you know, like I love how there's a little bit of everything in these episodes. Uh, that was an issue that we had a few years ago on The Walking Dead where each episode would focus on one person. I think they figured out that fans don't really like that. I, I think fans don't like that, you know? I mean, I, I'm not sure, but I think a lot of, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are enjoying the episodes when there's a lot of people in the episodes. And that's, for me personally, I'm enjoying it uh, because we get to see a little bit of the Commonwealth at the actual base. We get to see you know, Alexandria, uh, we get to pretty much see all the characters in these episodes, which is awesome. All right, so in terms of the episode, um, there was a lot that happened. Like, in the in the opening, I, I thought it was pretty cool how we got to see things from the real Stephanie's perspective. Um, you know, I, I think we all sort of suspected it uh, anyways because of those exchanges that they were giving each other. Or she was, like, cho uh, I mean... I, looking back at it now, like, yeah, you know, with the ice cream situation and stuff, like, it definitely seemed like she was a character who was trying to tell Eugene something. Um, but we all sort of suspected that anyways. Um, so we had the Eugene and Stephanie scenes. There wasn't too much there. I mean, they were just talking about stuff. Um, still, though, I have to say uh, that Eugene is so amazing, uh, in this season, and Josh McDermott is amazing in this, in this season as well, I love that scene he had with Rosita, it's been a while since they had a scene, uh, and again, you know, like, Josh McDermott is doing a great job, uh, I do wish that Eugene told Rosita the truth about everything, but it seems like, you know, he's sort of keeping things to himself, uh, but he de definitely has a plan to, you know, um, expose, if that's, if that's the right word, like expose Lance, I think, for who he really is. And speaking of Lance, we said that this episode was like very stressful for him because he's really trying to get these communities, Alexandria, the Hilltop, uh, um, Oceanside, it was amazing to see Oceanside again, finally. He's trying to get them to join the Commonwealth. And it seems pretty clear that he's, like, trying to do it for his own benefit. Like, he seems very stressed, very eager, like, almost, like, at the edge of his, you know, seat, his toes. Like, he's like, come on, come on, come on. Like, he really wants it. And you can see that it's probably for his own good. And and Pamela had a conversation with him towards the end there about that. And then he just went off. But I don't want to jump to the end. I'll talk more about that uh, once we get to the end. But I thought it was really cool to see how... Uh, Pamela going to the Commonwealth, you know, I, I thought it was cool to see that because it wasn't, uh, cause she's the leader, you know, like she easily could have just stayed back and gave orders, but I thought it was pretty cool how she actually goes there and is involved. It was great to see Aaron again, uh, and Pamela knows Deanna, which is like, whoa, like I didn't see that coming, but yeah, apparently she knows Deanna, um, yeah, I mean, these characters are connected, which is super interesting, I think. I mean, yes, it's a bit, you know, it is a bit of a coincidence that it happened again. <laughs> Pamela also knew Connie. But again, Pamela was like a very, uh, she was like a, uh, her father and her, you know, like her family and stuff. You know, they were part of the, like, she was like working in the government like before 
the apocalypse too so I, it definitely makes sense that she would know, know these people but yeah i thought that was pretty interesting how she knew diana so we saw them going from community to community uh because lance was trying to convince them to join the commonwealth um things weren't really working out they went to oceanside which was awesome to see oceanside again finally i don't know how long it's been but it's been a very long time uh so we saw oceanside uh, we still didn't see Luke. I'm still waiting to see what happened to him, where he is. I'm assuming it's because the actor is very busy with movies and stuff like that. You know, he's in a lot of movies. He's in, he's like in Fantastic Beasts. Uh, so that's like a huge franchise as well. So, you know, he's probably busy with that stuff. Uh, but hopefully we do get to see him uh, in the future of this season, given that it is the last season. I'm sure we will, because like that would be weird if we just never see him again. Um... But yeah, so things weren't really working out for the Commonwealth, or Lance, I should say, because he was the one who was really trying to get everyone to join the Commonwealth. Uh, Oceanside said they're going to wait for Maggie, and then they went over to um, the hilltop, and they were uh, talking to them. I really liked how, well, first of all, I loved how Daryl and Maggie hugged, so they're like, they're still good, you know, they're still good friends. I still wonder what really drives them apart, like really drives them apart because like they are sort of like split right now within the communities, but they're still friends. But in episode nine, that ending of episode nine where Daryl was like telling Maggie to open up, like he seemed very angry and like they seem like completely opposite sides. So I wonder what else is going to happen. But um, I love how Maggie was challenging and questioning Pamela. Like how she was like questioning her about how there's she has more than other people in her community. I really, really did like that scene. I love the scenes between Pamela and Maggie. Um, you know, like I liked how they were talking and, you know, walking and, uh, you know, dealing with the walkers. We saw how we got to see some differences between them also. Like Maggie killed the walker with the um, knife uh, and then Pamela used her gun. So we can see that there's some major differences there. Like... Maggie has a lot more experience with the outside world and, you know, stuff like that, uh, opposed to Pamela. Because they put some focus on that scene. I'm, I'm assuming that's what they were trying to tell us, right? Because, like, they had that moment where they killed the walkers that were behind them. Uh, Pamela using a gun, Maggie using a knife, and then they sort of, like, looked at each other. So, I'm assuming they were trying to highlight that aspect, that difference between them. You know, Maggie is, like, Maggie doesn't really want to be part of a community that's, like, like that you know like uh, you know how the commonwealth are like she was talking to the, to pamela about it like how it, they are sort of unfair towards some members and stuff like that some people have more so uh yeah uh that being said um we saw at the end there that some of maggie's group decided to go with uh uh, with the commonwealth like diana for example but maggie still didn't want to go um, and, uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a second, but, um, yeah, so it was great to see the hilltop again and the characters, you know, like I said, Diana and some of the other characters at the hilltop. So we can see that even though the Commonwealth have been helping and they're acting very friendly, there's still a lot of messed up things happening, you know, beneath the surface of all of it. And I wonder if it's more than just that unfairness between some of the people in the Commonwealth, right? Like the whole class system and how some of the people up top get treated a lot better than some of the people, um, you know, uh, who are just working there. Um, and, you know, there's people who are trying to overthrow the Commonwealth. Uh, I mean, even Lance is sort of start, starting to do his own thing. There's still a lot of unfairness going on between the Commonwealth. Um, and I just wonder, like, if there has to be more, though, right? And I'm assuming there is because, like, when Mercer and Daryl and Daryl were talking... Mercer was basically like low key telling Daryl that some things are not what it seems to be, right? I forgot exactly what he said, but like Daryl was like thanking him, and Mercer is like telling him how some things in the Commonwealth are not that good, right? Like there's some problems with the Commonwealth, and that's interesting to hear from Mercer because like he's treated very well, I'm assuming. Like he's a high ranking officer at the Commonwealth, but there's still some stuff. Uh, going on you know beneath the surface and yeah I'm very interested in learning more about this in the future I'm assuming we will yeah this is like interesting to see people like Mercer and Lance who are like I'm assuming treated pretty good in the Commonwealth they still have their own plans and they're not it doesn't seem like they're it seems like they're not fully on board with like what the Commonwealth 
like what Pamela is doing and stuff. So we'll see what's going on there. But uh, yeah, it seems like everyone kind of wants to join the Commonwealth. Like we saw Diana go. Uh, Aaron and Lydia are interested in going. But Maggie said no still. So and she said she said everything costs something, and I actually really like that line and I and I and I kind of like Maggie's de- decision because, like Maggie's been through a lot. Like she knows, like she she's been there since season two, right? Like she's been with through all these communities, you know. Uh, she's very experienced, pretty much like as much as Daryl and Carol and Rick, uh, but obviously you know she doesn't want. Um, you know, she doesn't really want to trust them because she knows, like she says, everything costs something. So she's worried that so- something is going to happen. Like, you know, they're going to go there and just things aren't going to work out. And she even had her own like journey with Georgie and the Reapers and all that. So it kind of makes sense that she doesn't want to go with another community. Like she wants to do her own thing. And I totally get that. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens from there. Um, because, like, like I said, going back to episode 9, at the end of there, like, the Commonwealth seemed a lot more forceful than they are now. Like, right now, they're just going to the communities and talking to them. But at the end of episode 9, like, uh, Daryl was, like, telling Maggie to open up. Like, he was, just, he was like, you know, like, it was, it was almost like a savior type situation, right? Like, how the saviors would come and, like, force them to open their gates and stuff like that. So, we'll see what's happening. Very, very excited. But at the end there, uh, so... Pamela is sort of onto Lance, like, she's, like, she kind of knows that Lance is, or she was, like, worried, like, she's saying that, I hope you weren't doing this for the sake of your own good, because there will be consequences, she says something like that, so, yeah, we got to see a pretty dark side of Pamela this episode, so there's still stuff, you know, like, they're all smiles and friendly and stuff with these people, but there's still a lot of, like, secrets and stuff going on, and I gotta say, man, Lance is a scary dude. Like, when he's, like, he's very calm, but you can tell, like, he's calm, but, like, extremely angry, you know? Like, when Aaron said, are you okay? And he's, like, A+. plus. So you can tell, like, he's extremely upset and angry and everything like that. And you can, and you saw that with what he was doing at the end of episode 12 with the walkers, you know, like, uh, by himself out there. Also, like, you know, with the Eugene episode. So, yeah, Lance has a lot of stuff up his sleeve. Uh, you know, he kind of wants his own thing, I think. But yeah, lots of things I'm looking forward to. Like, as much as it's happening in these episodes, they're doing a great job setting up, like, the next episode and the next episode in the future. Like, I'm very, very excited to see what's going to happen with Lance and, you know, his relationship with the Commonwealth. What is he going to try to do? Like, is he going to still try to convince everyone to join the Commonwealth? We'll see. We'll see. I'm very, very excited. But yeah, be sure to let me know what did you think about the episode in the comments down below. Um, as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts and opinions about the episode and the, and the season in the comments down below. And for more Walking Dead videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Please take care, and I'll see you.